What's going on guys, it is Mitch Monomast here and I'm here to show you how to link your Cardo Audio uh, to your GoPro um, so for motor vlogging and things like that or if you just want to know how to link two microphones to your GoPro in general um, or a stereo to your GoPro as you're recording so the first thing you're going to need obviously is a GoPro and a media mod. Now I've got the media mod out because I'm using my GoPro to record this video. Um, some sort of lapel or whatever microphone that you're using with a 3mm, a 3M, 3mm plug uh, can be two or three um, Banded, but um, I found the two band ones are good. Um, I will put a link to all of what I use for each of these in the description of this video. Top here. The next thing you're going to need is what we call a left right splitter. Now, you don't necessarily need one of these, you can actually use two of what's next, but in the editing stage, this becomes really helpful if for whatever reason you don't want one of the microphone or one of the sources audio this will allow you to split it while if you use the other method um, can't do this basically anything that is the equivalent of an aux cable I've chosen to go I originally had something that was actually long um, but I've chosen to go something a bit more compact so when putting it in the helmet um, you don't have to fiddle around with that one. Then we have a Y splitter. So this is basically, you can get this from, um, most of these you can get from any audio store. Um, I got most of these from Amazon, um, but you can get them from JCAR Electronics or a few different um, sort of speaker stores and stuff like that in Australia. Then obviously you need your Cardo, um, I've only got the mount point at the moment, my um, device is actually charging and the Cardo speakers that go along with it. So the first thing you need to do is unplug your Cardo speakers directly from your uh, Cardo mount um, because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting sort of a line in between them. Then what you're going to do is you want to take the Y splitter, not the left right splitter, and connect that into the Cardo device. Um, then one of the things from the Y splitter can just be connected in like so. And then the next step is to take the aux line, so the little um, double-ended device and plug that into here All right the next step is to plug into either doesn't matter which one it is um, these are just left and right the only difference it'll make is which speaker you have to choose for which audio you want um, in the editing program that you use I'll show you how I do it on Premiere Pro in this video um, and then lock it in then your microphone plug to whatever microphone you're using goes in the other one so what this does is it will create two audio channels in your GoPro's audio when you once you plugged it into your um, media mod it will create two audio channels for you a left and a right one I can never remember which color is which um, that when you're using, so when you're listening to it, it's just on generic speakers, you'll, no, you'll notice really obviously that one's got all of your microphone audio and then one's got all of your Cardo audio, but once you go into your editing software, you can manipulate it so you can hear both through both speakers, or you can only hear your microphone audio, or you can only hear your Cardo audio if that's what you want. Um, for example, you just, um, yeah. So some of the reasons you might want your Cardo audio is, well, one, if you're writing with a group of people, 
it can actually save them having to get a microphone. Um, as long as they've got, a, you know, the, you, in terms of for their go for a GoPro, um, or you can just be you want people to be able to hear the music you're listening to or the directions you're listening to, anything that's coming out of your cardo. Then the last step is to plug. Obviously, you would have your GoPro connected into this, but I'm using it as a camera. Um, is to plug it into the three mil port at the bottom and you are ready to go out record um, and do that so now we're going to switch to the uh, the uh, editing suite on Premiere Pro alright um, so we have now moved to the editing portion of this so what you'll find is if you drag in your audio, you'll see I have two distinct channels here. Right? So one channel represents the microphone audio, the other channel represents your Cardo or whatever other device you plugged in using the second portion. The problem is, is at the moment, there is no way to distinguish between the two. So there's a f the, the main way to fix this is to modify the original file while it's being worked with in um, Adobe Premiere. So what we need to do is on this side where you've got the file, you need to select all the files you, you want to do. So we right click and then we go to modify and audio channels. So the first thing you'll notice is it has column and a row for each clip and there's going to be a way we can uh, sort that out in a second left and a right so what that says is the left speaker is playing so the left speaker is this the speakers are along on your rows and your source source microphones are your columns so the left speaker is playing what was inputted in the left microphone All right. so what we're going to do is the first thing is we're going to create two audio clips. Right, what that'll do is open the second one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make each of them have the same columns ticked on both of the speakers. What this will do, it will, will split up your audio. So now it you'll have to reinsert your footage into your, your um, sequence. But what this will do is I now have two completely separate files. So if we just give me one second, I need to turn it so it's um we'll hear it. So on Nathan's bike. And we can Nathan's hear on both. Yes. So we could hear both my microphone audio and if you have really good hearing the um music audio um, so. and so to work out which f which f file is which we're just going to mute one and listen to the other so there is our um, uh, our Cardo audio and if I mute that one uh, just taking a nap we found our microphone audio so now what we can do is say I only want the microphone audio. It was clipped to in my um, file, which means it is the second audio file attached to that. So if we go back to our modify audio channels, so we look at clip two. Okay, so my microphone was the right microphone. So I only want one. So there's two ways we can do it. I'll show you the first way, which I need to reinsert it is we can unlink it and then select that delete it and then relink it so there's one way we can do it and that will just give us the audio file we want you can do it whichever with whichever one that you want to or we can open up and modify our audio channels now we worked out that the microphone i wanted was my right microphone so I can turn it back to one audio clip and then 
tick the right on both of them and that will give me just the audio from my um, microphone. But say we want both of them, but we want to fiddle with the volumes on both of them. So we're going to do that. So we're going to add this and add them back. I've just switched which one's which. Um, just because that's how I like to operate. I like my um, vlogging to always be the first audio track. Um, but I always forget which one it is. So. If... Let's just see what we can do. This is stuff that I'm always a bit... No, that's not what we want. So, we're going to need to unlink them anyway. And what this will let us do is adjust the volumes. So, we can go into our audio gain, and we could adjust it. So, if we would just want to lower the entire volume, right? We right click audio gain, and then we want to lower our Cardo by 10 decibels. This is, you know. So we want it there, but we don't want it obvious. So now, if we listen to a section... It's that little bit quieter. Right. Especially when there's a lot of source audio from that. The other way we could do it is, if we go to Normalize Peaks 2, and so if we go... Um, no, that's not what we want. We'll normalize all peaks to 10 decibels. And you can play around with these numbers till you find stuff that you like. I don't do too much of this, so I'm actually not super experienced with the audio part of it. But you can play around with these peaks to adjust how loud one of the microphone is. You found that your microphone was too quiet, so this is now going to be really loud. Yeah, way too loud, so audio gain. Now that we've actually normalized all the peaks, we can actually just adjust the gain. Um, so we're going to lower it by about 15 decibels. Right. We're just doing a short trip forward and back. Um. So now it's quite quiet. You know, it's probably could still be a little bit quieter. So let's um, let's lower it by another five. Zach. It's been a while since we've ridden a sport bike, so... So, you know, now it's starting to get... And you just keep playing with that gain until you get something that you want and you're happy with your footage. I don't do it too lot of it. I've mainly... You know, I don't use the Cardo audio a lot. Um, but I have that option now with this setup. And the setup doesn't cost too much after... You know, it's about 20 bucks after you've bought the rest of the vlogging setup, so it's kind of worth it. Um, it is a little bit of a pain in the ass to fiddle it into your helmet, but that just becomes a comfort thing. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.